welcome back to my youtube space miss banal of joy and if you're new to my channel my name is shruti v nair and welcome to the second episode of 30 days bridal series with shruti so in today's episode i'm going to show you all how to remove your facial hair ditching a razor So I've seen a lot of girls using a razor to remove your facial hair but I don't agree to the concept of removing your facial hair with razor and it doesn't agree to me once I did a patch test when I was in school okay but it's still you know I get two three thick hair that grows on my chin and it's it gives a lot of trouble to me so i found an alternative measure and this uh, method is like i've been following this method for years now and i just love it so i thought why not share it with you all and please do not skip um, this video because every information i give is for your skin so watch this video till the end So how I remove my facial hair? I use the Weed Sensitive Hair Removal Cream for um, my facial hair, and um, now you all must be like, oh, it's not meant for your face. It's not meant for your facial hair. Yes, it's not meant for the facial hair, but it's sensitive for sensitive skin uh, and face. I think the skin, the facial skin is. sensitive and um, i don't find any harm in using this there's a specific product for facial hair removal of facial hair which is called the nyos uh, facial hair removal cream but it is a little costly and i've used that also but i didn't find any difference in the two so i switched back to uh, the wheat so some of you must be like oh you use a chemical uh, hair removal cream to remove your facial hair yes i do if you all don't agree you all can very well stop this video here and see you all in another video but for people who agree with me keep watching this video i have some rules for using this which will not hurt your skin okay i can assure you all 100% if you'll follow the method that i tell it will not harm your skin okay so let's get into the video first thing you will need is two big blocks of ice cubes okay so i've taken a small vessel and i've poured water and freezed it so i'll be using this so before you start this you will need two big blocks of ice cubes so the first step is wash your face with plain water do not use a uh, face wash or any kind of soap or uh, scrub nothing just with plain water wash your face for three times and the second step is using of ice okay so what we are going to do basically here is we are going to close the open pore because we don't want the chemical to uh, penetrate too much and harm our skin so what i'm going to do is i'm i've uh, made ice cubes uh, a big block of ice cube and i'm going to use uh, this ice cube and i'm going to close the pores okay for that i've taken a plate because i don't want the ice to spill so yeah you can use it so it's done wait for a minute and then pat dry okay don't dry it too much just the moisture content should be there okay just pat dry you can feel it you will become fresh okay so now so now we are heading to our fourth step application of the cream now decide why you'll want to apply the cream so i normally don't apply on my forehead because i don't have much hair on my forehead i don't have hair on my forehead and uh, so what i do is i apply on my sideburns uh, my upper lip the chin part even on my nose because i have fine hairs on my nose and uh, while coming uh, near my eyes i just stop the starting of the zygomatic bone i just stop there uh, i don't want to go really near my eyes because this is chemical and you will have one light kind of one um, vapor coming out of this chemical so we uh, why we have used ice is to uh, stop the penetration of the cream really deep okay so if you follow my steps that i'm going to tell i have told and i'm going to tell you all you can very well use this and it's very very safe so let's begin let me come close and start the application And one more thing if you'll have uh, uh, pimples or uh, any open wounds please do not use this just stop it here 
that's all i don't go very near to my eyes okay I even apply on my neck till this part because I have few hairs here and all. It's up to you. So, so I've applied it, and you have to wait for another five minutes. It's usually five to ten minutes, which is recommended on the cream. But uh, within five minutes, the facial hair will come out. So let's wait for five minutes. Until then, sip on a tea. So it's been five minutes. Now let's remove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spatula which is provided with every wheat cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from down to up. Yes, uh, we have to always remove the facial hair or any hair uh, in the, from the body using the uh, opposite direction of hair growth. So let's do it. It's very simple just like this. I will remote and seal. So I wash my face, just give it a pad dry and we are heading to our fifth step. So the fifth step is, do you all remember I told you all, you all should freeze two ice cubes. So we are going to take the ice cube and we are going to close the open pores. Apply the ice cube, wear and all, you all apply the cream. That's it. Leave it for another minute and then pat dry. And if you want to moisturize, you can moisturize or use a toner, a mild toner, a rose toner will do. And that's it. So after removing of the facial hair, you will feel like half a kilo of your body weight is gone. Just follow simple uh, steps that I've shown y'all. And um, um, before using this hair removal cream, I recommend y'all not to use any face wash or any kind of chemicals to your face few hours before using this and application of ice cube is very very important before and after um, what else using a, a a good hair removal cream which is for sensitive skin is recommended that's why i've recommended the wheat um, it's not a sponsored video for kind information and um, after uh, removing of the hair also please do not uh, use any kind of uh, face wash or scrub for few hours because it may tend to irritate your skin it'll be very soft uh, so do not use and that's it do try it and um, using of razor it will make your hair grow thicker and um, threading your hair will sag in your skin and it's really painful so this is a pain free treatment and I recommend this to everybody just follow the simple steps that I've shown you and have um, facial free hair <laughs> So as you all saw the video of how I remove my facial hair, now you all must be in a conclusion, this is the safest method, okay? And uh, if you follow my rules that I've uh, shown you all in this video, you all can very well use uh, this method to remove your hair and dish the razor and stop threading your facial hair. So hope this video was informative. If you all like this video, and the information that i've provided don't forget to hit on the bell icon to get notified and before that do like share and subscribe to this bundle of joy meet you with another interesting video like this until then 